Today we're reviewing the Lamy 2000 fountain pen. It comes in this beautiful cardboard box with a metal branding that says Lamy on it. It has a little 3D. Um, the Lamy is raised above the rest of the metal rectangle. The box itself isn't affixed magnetically, but rather it's cut really tight around the, or die cut really tight around the Lamy logo, so you just have to kind of push it off to get it, um, to get that top flap off of the box. And then you can open the trifold box here. Um, doesn't come with this little pin sock, I know. It's, um, that's something that I had my husband make for me and design just because I was carrying it around in my purse and it was, uh, I felt like the finish was getting really marred up, so he designed that pen sock for me so that I wouldn't further scratch the finish. The finish itself, according to Lamy, is made out of, I believe they called it Macrolon. Um, that is a f uh, derivative of fiberglass. It's very lightweight. Uh, before we get to the rest of the pen design, let's see what's in the box. It comes with your standard Lamy warranty. And then underneath these inserts, in the box is their marketing material, which for Lamy, it's like an accordion um, view of all the pens that they make, the different models, the Accent, Econ, CPI, CP1, I'm sorry. And then on the reverse side, it's how to fill each of those pens. So if you have questions about how to change a cartridge, how to fill a converter, it's all there for you. So we'll kind of move that aside and the box and get to the pen what you're really watching the video for right so this lamy fountain pen is gorgeously de designed um, it even has a place in the museum of modern art in new york so it um, was designed in 1966 and it's just very understated if you look at it i think that's why it has a place in the moma because there's nothing about this pen that is a uh, overly eloquent or over-designed. It's just engineered to be very simple yet uh, stylish and lasting. It's a timeless design. As you can tell, if it was designed in 66 and they're still producing it today, obviously it has a timeless appeal. The clip is spring-loaded, which is great for people that want a pocket pen because you only need a thumbnail and it moves rather easily. Um, the rest of this is very simply finished, like no other branding that you can tell. It's not gonna be something very flashy, which a lot of people like. Um, capping and uncapping is one of the beautiful things of the Lamy 2000. So I'm gonna get quiet real quick so you can hear it. So it's a pull on, pull off cap, and it has these little stainless steel ears inside of the, um, the cap, or I, I'm sorry, I guess it's on the body of the pen, but when you close it, it catches inside of the inner cap here. There's a plastic inner cap um, on the inside that helps keep the pen from drying out. And when you cap it, those ears, um, the inner cap kind of goes over it to secure that cap so it doesn't fall off when it's um, in your pocket or in your purse. And it has a little stainless steel finish section here with a hooded nib, which is great. This particular pen that I'm using and holding is a medium nib, and um, it's a piston fill with an ink window. You can't really see the ink window right now because I have a Diamine Sargasso C in it, which is a dark blue-black, so it's um, kind of shading the ink window there. You can't really tell, but um, I guess I can use like a rag here just in case it leaks ink while I do this, but just to show you the, the knob for the piston fill is seamless. You can't see it at all, but if you want to see how you um, fill a piston fill, if you haven't used one, you just turn the knob on the back and that, um, I, if I turn it more, it'll force more of the ink out, but you would turn that to um, expel the ink out of the end of the nib and then turn it to close or closer to the body of the pen clockwise to draw the ink back up into the pen. So it posts very well, get that out of the way there. It posts very well and super solidly, no issues there. Um, it, wherever you tend to hold the pen, I mean, it's comfortable in any position that I've used it for the last two weeks that I've used it. Uh, it's a great fountain pen and a very smooth writer. Ironically, I just recorded this video before I'm recording the version you're seeing today and during the writing sample, I ran out of ink because I had used it so much for two weeks that I completely ran out of ink. And I didn't want you to think that this pen skips. So I decided to re-record the video for you with a new writing sample so you guys can see that 
no it does not skip when you write at least the model that I have doesn't so let's get to it with a writing sample of Lamy 2000 So there you have it, a writing sample of the Lamy 2000 in a medium nib so that you can see a Diamine Sargasso C ink and so it's a really dark blue like you can see. It's a very smooth writer. I had no issues with this pen whatsoever. In fact, it's one of my favorites that I've used. I need to update my um, top five at the time of this uh, recording to include the Lamy 2000 because it's definitely a top five purchase. If you'd like to see how this pen stacks up against the um, Pilot Vanishing Point, because for whatever reason a lot of people ask me about these two pens and how they match up to each other, I've done a full review on that and included a link below in the description. Thanks again for watching from bestfountainpen.com.